So guys, uh, the next function or the method uh, in Boolean string methods uh, that we are looking, going to look at is, uh, is space. Now what this is space does is uh, it is used to check whether a string consists of white spaces. That is a space between uh, characters or words. Yeah. Now this method returns through if all characters in the input string are white space characters and there is at least one character. Otherwise it returns false, as I said earlier. Now a character is a white space. If in the Unicode character database, either it, it's general category, that is ZS, or separator space, or it's a bi-directional uh, class. Yeah, uh, We do not need to understand that. You just need to remember is that it check whether the string consists of white space characters or not. Yes. Now to check it, we have the syntax of this particular uh, method. The syntax for the same is we, we need to have the string which we need to check and then we have the method followed by the parenthesis. Yeah, we do not have anything within the parenthesis because string is available here. Yeah. Now, if I have to check whether a particular string has space, okay. Uh, so suppose I have this string, string equal to space. I have only one space or I have multiple space. It doesn't make sense, yeah. Uh, string, uh, and, and, as space. Okay. I have space in this string. Yeah. Let's have the result, which will give me, uh, which is equals to string dot is space. Yes. Are all characters of the string space? And I want to see whether it is true or false. Yeah, it is giving me true because all the characters within this string are spaces. Yeah, there is nothing else. Okay. Suppose I have a character within the string. Suppose I have an alphabet within this string as alphabet. I'll put a, sing a single alphabet as of now just to check that is uh, E. Yes. It's giving me false. So the alphabets do not come under white space characters. So the following example that we saw right now is not a space. Yeah, it does not have a space. Suppose the string within a string that you have has slash T, which is a SK string has slash T which is an escape character. Yeah, so it provides tab between words. So if you have slash T, I'll give you, show you an example. So if I have eyes and slash T can, the result of it is, I will, I'll show you, First, the result, what happens if I put slash T between two words is a print. Yes. See this, there is a tab between, there is a tab or a space between, which is a tab. If you put slash S, 
if I had a space, it would be much smaller as compared to a tag. But if I put slash p, it puts a tab between the two words. Yeah. Now, if I have slash t in the within the string, so if I have multiple tabs, yeah. So this is considered as a white space. Yeah. Hence, it will give the output as true. Yeah. So this horizontal tab is considered as a white space. Yeah. String has slash t, which is an escape character for escape character and considered as white space for this method. Yes. Suppose I have new line character. If you remember new line character, so I'll put again print eyes slash n ten. Let's see what happens. So eyes will come on one line and can has gone on another line. So this is new line character. Again, this is a form of white space. So it will also give through as the output. So let's replace this by slash n and we have slash n. Yeah. So slash n, which is a new line space character, which is considered as a white space character, hence it is giving the output for is space as true because is space checks for white space characters. Yeah. Same way we have vertical tab slash v or a feed slash f or carriage return as a, so those are again considered as white spaces. So let's see that as well. So slash v comma slash f or slash r yeah these are all which are which are escape characters and consider as y space for this method so let's see this whether it returns you uh, true or not Yes, it returns true. Yeah, pretty clear. So a space is basically to find out whether all the characters within the string are, has white space characters or not. Yeah, and hence it returns true or false otherwise. Hope you like this video, understood what I'm trying to uh, communicate. Uh, do like, share, comment on this video if you have any views or uh, do subscribe to my channel in order to get uh, so this more, more such kind of informative videos directly to your inbox. Thank you so much.